I had a very brutal childhood. I had sexual abuse. I had a lot of heavy things when I was very young. And so I grew up to be a person who didn't believe in myself and thought I was no good, thought I was worthless, and also having a lot of resentment and not realizing what I was thinking or what I was doing or how it was affecting my life. One day I heard somebody say, if you're willing to change your thinking, you can change your life. And I thought, really? Really? Is that possible? So I started to explore. And then I kept studying and learning. And as I learned, I would teach other people. Well, the thing was, I was teaching workshops at the time. And I said to myself, if I could just put this workshop on paper, I could help more people. But I did. I took a little time off and I put the workshop into book form. And I had no idea that life would take it where it has taken it. One of the pioneers of the self-help movement, Louise Hay. In 1984, she started a small company in her living room with two self-published books. And now she oversees a publishing empire. Her international bestseller, You Can Heal Your Life, has sold over 30 million copies and has been translated into 25 different languages. You say you have to start with beginning to love yourself. You hear a lot of that in the 80s, and what, the, what does that mean? It means to stop putting yourself down, stop criticizing yourself, stop mistreating yourself. Begin to treat yourself as something that's very precious. Louise Hay's book is titled, You Can Heal Your Life. Absolutely. You know, all babies are born loving themselves. And then somewhere along the line, we believe people who are frightened or angry. Yes. And we start to think that we're not good enough. And very often, we mistreat ourselves because we don't feel we're good enough. What is this? What is affirmation? Affirmations are every statement you ever make, everything you say. But when you do an affirmation, it means you make a positive statement to create something you want in your life. That's why I like to teach people to love themselves, just to love and adore who you are. Does that work if you really okay. aren't loving life so much? Yes, but you have to get there. And I think of affirmations as like planting seeds. You put the seed in the ground and give it a chance to grow. You say, I love you. You know, I wrote my first book. There was no self-help section in the bookstores. And now it's the fastest growing one in all the bookstores. What do you think changed in the world that we live or what changed inside of us that made it not crazy, but indeed rather commonplace? Yes, well, we learned that it was true. And I think that people started to practice and do simple little things that made their life improve the quality of their lives, as I call it. How many people have never done mirror work? All right, well, you're in for an interesting experience. <laughs> the reason I like mirrors so much is that they really move you through stuck places because they reflect to you almost instantly what your beliefs are that are against you. And what most of us do is when we hear or feel a negative message, we try to run from it. And we have all sorts of ways of doing that. I mean, people go to the extremes of drug and alcohol abuse and things like that. But there are lots of little ways that we run from our own barrier thoughts. And if we could, ex instead of that, accept them and examine them and turn them around, say, no, I don't want to believe that anymore. Remember, it's only a thought, and a thought can be changed. We get the opportunity now of choosing what we want to think. When we were very little, we had a lot of stuff fed into us by our parents and other places around us. I mean, after all, we got it from our relatives, we got it from neighbors, we got it from school, we got it from the church, we got it from television. All this stuff came in, and we're little, and we accept most of it. But we're not little children now, we're adults and we get to choose what we want to think. See, all that energy that you've turned negatively towards yourself, you can use that powerful energy and turn it in a positive direction. I really love this person. I want to. Do you have my permission? <laughs> <laughs> reach, reach out a hand. <laughs> We all have pain of one sort or another. 
even those who, who had very wonderful lives, we all carry some sort of pain. But it's wonderful when we can find out that we're not wrong, we're not bad, we are good enough, we're worthy of op opening our life and having a better life. We can start to look in a different way.